On this week's episode of Drake Eats, we're showing you how to make one of the easiest and most delicious side dishes. These crispy potatoes and carrots are sure to complement any meal you serve your family. We are Jonathan and Holly Drake and we love food. Gathering around the table and sharing a good meal. When we went gluten free, we had to reinvent our favorite family recipes. We're here to show you gluten free cooking can be simple and delicious. Welcome to Drake Eats. All right, guys, so this is legit our son's favorite Number side one. dish. I think I could serve this with every single meal and he would never complain. Absolute easiest side dish. So I make it all the time because it's a great way to throw in some veggies. Um, so let's get started. Potatoes. So we have two rusted potatoes already peeled. Un carrots. Three carrots <laughs> peeled. And so Jonathan's just gonna chop those. We're gonna cube the potatoes for roasting. So yeah, this recipe I found on Pinterest. I can't take credit for this. I found this recipe on Pinterest and I was looking for, I don't know about all of you guys, but like when I make my menus each week for the grocery store, I struggle with side dishes. Like it is really hard to come up with, it especially gluten-free. It was green beans, like every meal yes, for a long time. it was. And now I've been able to find some different sides. And what I love about this recipe, <clears throat> nine times out of 10 when I do it, I'm just doing potatoes and carrots, but we have thrown in zucchini, we we've have. thrown in broccoli, we've thrown in cauliflower. With, with the seasoning. With the seasoning mix, the sauce. And <clears throat> our son eats it up. It's very good. Yes. I like your chopping method there, that's interesting. I like to double down, if you will. That's, that's probably too big, right? Yes. So take that and cut it, yeah. So that's about the size, if you guys can see. That's about the size. It's exactly you. the way I did the first one. She said No, it it's not. This is what he did on the first one. It's not true. Oh! Hey, we got some new knives for Christmas, and yeah. Jonathan feels like he's on an infomercial. Every time he's using them, he makes a comment about them. I'm guilty of it, too, though, because they're really nice knives. We got them off Amazon, though. Yeah, they weren't that I mean, they're, Hink they're Hinkles. Hinkles. Hinkles brand, the J.A. Hinkles brand. We got them off Amazon. No, no, no. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I knew. I know. I, 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 I knew. I knew that it was the right size. I wasn't going to cut it. Mm -hmm. I was just going to put it in the pan. He gets a little happy with that knife, y'all. He just was like, what else can I chop? So to let you guys in on a little secret, we do cook a lot together. Jonathan is the resident fryer in the house. Like I tend to overcook meat, so he is like the go-to guy when it comes to frying meat. But nine times out of 10, I'm doing a lot of this on my own. Um, so I'm really not that much of a micromanager because I'm usually the one doing it. All right, All right. on to the carrots. On to the carrots. So the way that I always do the carrots is I just put them. Do you want me to do the carrots? No. Let me do the carrots. Mm -mm. Please. Not doing it. Uh, I see you're doing it wrong. Uh, and then slice it. Yeah. So I just do them in like threes. And then I just, right. yeah. And then I just kind of slice them into that one's a little bit. Because carrots are very hard to get at. So you kind of want them to look like that. Well, there like you go. That. Yeah. There you go. Okay. You're doing it. Okay. Boy, that micromanagement thing really, uh. Came well, back hard, didn't it? I have it? to show you how to do it. Well, you almost got your finger. Yeah, that's called micromanaging. I have to show you how to do it, yes. I mean. That's the definition of micromanaging. Let me stand over your shoulder. If you were tall enough that you could stand over my shoulder, you would definitely do it. See? That's good. All right, I'm going to pass the baton, the baton as you will. You. <clears throat> Let you do a few. Let me do a few, like I never do this. Nope. Uh-uh, that's wrong. <laughs> oh gosh. Look, you... That's an interesting technique. Because I'm weak. I have no upper body And you don't want to slice your finger off. There's that. Yeah. Yeah, don't... If you if you don't cut in the kitchen that much, then um, use whatever technique you need to, like what Holly's doing, uh, to keep your appendages. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Away no from fingers, that very sharp knife. No fingers need to be lost in the filming or making of this recipe unnecessarily. 
You can add as many potatoes and carrots, any other veggies that you want to. It all just depends on how many people you're trying to feed. But for this particular sauce recipe, this is the amount that you need. So if you're gonna add extra, just double your sauce up. Two potatoes, three carrots. All right, so next up is the sauce. You're gonna start with some paprika, one teaspoon of paprika. I love paprika, it gives such a pretty color. I don't feel like it has a ton of a taste to it. Are those jars working out for you? I like them. <laughs> I've, I've brought up these jars almost every episode. I like them. I hate them so much. They look amazing. They're cute little jars with their little name tags on them, but they are so not functional. But we're gonna keep using them. We're not letting go. No. A teaspoon of garlic powder. See some of Oh yeah, that one came out better. Some, it's all in, it's not, it's not the bottle. Can I, can I begin to mix no, them? No, you cannot. I'm gonna mix them. Uh. They're pre-mixed and ready to go. Teaspoon of onion powder. See how good it comes out? That one came out better, yeah. Teaspoon of cumin. Now cumin's the worst. Yeah, this one comes out kind of clumpy, kind of like brown sugar. It does, but it smells so good. I love the smell of cumin. What does it smell like? Can you smell it? Yeah. A half a teaspoon of chili powder. Oop, I left my wings. I am not a professional. We don't want to leave that one in there. Fourth a teaspoon of pepper. So many seasonings. Yes, this has a lot of seasoning, but the flavors, y'all. What would you compare this to? Kind of like a... I need my teaspoon. It's like a... I wouldn't say spicy. No, it's just got a really rich flavor. I, I mean, it's got a little spice to it because of like the chili powder, but mm -hmm. Cannon loves it. Like, yeah. And he doesn't eat spice. Teaspoon of salt. That's a teaspoon? One teaspoon. Oh. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. And then a fourth a cup of olive oil. And it must be olive oil, because I have tried this with vegetable oil and canola. It's too greasy. If you can see that, it's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of color. A lot of stuff happening. Mm -hmm. So good. Let's mix that so you can see it. Kind of turns into this reddish mm -hmm. shade. You're not doing it wrong if it turns red. You're doing it right. Yes. All right. All right, so you're going to pour that. Hold on, there's a little spout. It makes it all pretty. Oh. Oh, let's do it. What? How pretty is uh, that? Alright, so you got the sauce on and you're just gonna kind of toss it in there to coat. Get it all over the veggies. Alright, so once you get your veggies all coated, you're gonna bring your pan over, cookie sheet. This is one of those ceramic pans I've talked about before in a previous episode. This is the Green Life brand, nonstick ceramic, so it doesn't leach any of those nasty chemicals that Teflon does, and you don't have to spray it with anything because it's nonstick. Dump your um, veggies. So I'm just gonna dump the veggies. Dump the veggies. <laughs> Dump the veggies. No need to spray. Nope. Let's get all that extra sauce. Kind of pour it. Yeah. Any sauce that's left. Yeah. And then spread them out on your cookie sheet. This looks like enough for eight people. Nope. No, it shrinks. We will eat every bit of every this, bit. and our son will eat about three fourths. And then he of this. usually wants some left over in his lunchbox for the next day. Um, so this is gonna go into a 450 degree oven for 10 minutes at a time. So this is total of 30 minutes, but every 10 minutes, you're going to take them out and toss them. All right, so here is the potatoes. They've been in for about 10 minutes already, so we're just gonna take them. I hear them sizzling. Oops, lost a carrot. Runaway carrot. And so you're just gonna kind of just toss them around the pan, flip them so they don't burn. And these are gonna go back in for another 10 minutes. All right, here we go. 
Mm. Crispy potatoes and carrots. Look at that. Delicious, roasted. They've got a great little crisp on them. Here, I'm sizzling. And we like to, well, we're big ranch people. Yes. So we'll eat these with ranch. Our son loves them with ketchup. So, but I mean, they are good just by themselves. They're perfect. Perfect. They're the perfect side for any dish. Don't try and pick these up right after they come out of the oven, as Holly just tried, because they are, they are degrees. really, really hot. Don't forget to like and share our video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on Instagram. We'll see you next week.